All right. Oh, hello, everybody. This is Major Gunner. And Penguin Chris. We're playing some Daylight. Yep. Wheel D 3D. Yep. I'm, I might have to see what that's required me, because I imagine that's going to be interesting. I bet. Zombie, zombie studios. studios, but there's not even a single zombie in this game. Not nope. there, day. New. All right, new game. Sure. Start new game. Yes. yes. Want to create save? That's gonna take a little while. Um, Hope you guys are enjoying the interesting music. Yep. The pretty pretty music. Are you excited? Yep, it's pretty interesting. Yes. Bum 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 bum. Aw, the music's yeah. over. No, there may be more times hearing that. Okay, that's the controls. Uh, Use the flare. Oh, I can apparently throw items. Interesting. I can drop items. Cool. Um, you can sprint using either button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you, you hold on the uh, uh, one of the analog sticks, I believe. <gasps> Spider! By my smartphone. Sounded interestingly creepy. Yep. <laughs> do, do, do. Nothing like. I am your stalker. Yeah, we have a wonderful little stalker friend. Ooh, a magic glowy thing. Oh, it's paper. Uh, let's see. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Shadow Fascinating. people. Fascinating. Okay. Let's see. Doctor on site keep trying to. I have a hard time trying to read that handwriting. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures. That push, what we've come up with to date. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> Nothing like waking up in an abandoned asylum. Yep. With a name like Sarah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and we're having. Well, this is an indie game, so there will be interesting lag. Stuttering. Sarah Stuttering. <laughs> yep. Mid Island. Penitentiary hires new head physician. February, February 5th, 5th 1907. 1907. Midland Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Mercer? Yeah, we're playing prototype? Known <laughs> as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. The city of New Kepling. Okay has expressed its ex excitement in having such a talented and passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Of course, you, you, you know how bad smallpox is? Oh, lethal. It kills everybody. Yep. It, it's the aponic plague of whatever century that was. I guess so. Uh, yeah, smallpox is never fun, but... No. I think we have antibodies to deal with that, and I, I don't yep. know if anyone actually dies of smallpox. I don't think anymore. They're probably probably at that point it was bad enough. Yeah, in this 1907, yeah. Yeah. N now it's like, now oh, it's oh you got smallpox, uh, give, give it some time. Oh, you got smallpox, here's a, here's a cure. Pretty much. As long as you're not an anti-vaxxer. And once you got it, you, you, you won't catch it again, supposedly. Yep. 
As long as you're not one of those anti-vaxxers, but eh, let's not talk about that. Uh, I never understood why people have anti-vaccine. That just makes no sense. Yeah, whatever. Our, our bodies are built on immunities and growing stronger from things. I mean, yes, there are times that that doesn't always work. But what can you do? But that's how our bodies sometimes get strong because of immunities and things. Yep. No, the paper. No, the dead, dead cow. cow. Fuck you, buy Peter. More chicken <laughs> brains. Yes, I made a Chafoy joke. Yep. We are but one thread woven in the web of life. All things connect, all things are bound. And okay. your voice still creeped me out. Alrighty. What the? What well, on earth is up with this sound? Yeah, I um, don't know what that sound was. Okay, about. let's pick up that glowing. Yeah, well, cable I, was, thing. I was seeing if there was something going on with that noise. Midland April Hospital. 4th, 1988. Yep. Concerning patient, patient 18, or pa patient 13. 18. Run! Run! Best note in a horror game ever. Run! And it's patient 13, so. Patient 13. You, you don't screw with patient 13. Nope. He can apparently screw with you. Yep. Maybe he. Maybe... Woo, 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 woo. Oh, yeah, what's with that weird noise? I don't know. Um. Who, who knows? Maybe Patient 13 is that guy, that, that main villain in Outlast or something. Maybe. I actually haven't played that much of that game. I, I kind of liked it, but I felt like it was too brutal. Yeah. Like, Patient your 13. battery ran out too much if you really need to use it, and you spend most of the time hiding, which, uh, th yep. that's not always a bad thing, but I, I don't, that, that is Hello, creepily out of place for an insane asylum. It's a and, and it's toy. missing its horses. Yep. I'm assuming that's supposed to be some weird ambience noise for the soundtrack or something. I think so. Because it doesn't look like anything's happening. Nope. Nothing. Wait, I think I just checked here. Yep. That wheelchair looks familiar. It does. And this is what we look like running. Run, run, run. Ooh, a bag. Oh, right, glow Ooh, sticks. Glow sticks. How many glow sticks can we pick up? Let's go to the wave. Hey, it's a rave party! Okay, let's and go. And the doors happen to magically open. Magic. That's not creepy. Alien. Let's see, March 4, 1988. Concerning Patient, Patient 13. They're getting a lot of history about this character. Apparently. Might Patient's the main age is 10 months old. Uh, we sure is divine. Has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Okay, then. So, it's a her, and... It's a her, and she was 10 months old in 1988. Wait a minute. So, she's a baby? Yeah. Oh, God. Demonic cycle babies. Huh. I'm an alien. <laughs> nice tattoo, Sarah. Yep. Yeah. If 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 if, if Dead Space Two and uh, Catherine hadn't made me afraid of demonic babies, maybe this game will. Th those two came pretty close. One had infinite supplies of kamikaze exploding babies in small rooms. The other one had a giant baby. That had like chainsaw and machine part, machine gun parts all over the place. Don't forget PT, that and that dead talking fetus. Yeah, but the the fetus wasn't trying to kill me though. That you know of. The world may never know. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, that 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 sounds interestingly creepy. Yep. <laughs> hmm? Is that over my head? It's a light. <laughs> Pretty. Touch it. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the mechanics Touch of it. picking up Touch things it. are a little weird. There it is. September 9th, 1937, I think? I think so, 937. Patient 27C. Oh, goody. They're giving so numbers. They're getting... Or no, alphabet no. with the numbers. Okay. Patient inexplicably died overnight. Oh, okay. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electroshock therapy. 
Body was transported to the morgue. Cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. That sucks. <laughs> uh, well, that, well, it's what, 1937? 1937? Yeah, it's guess. not like they had emails and internet and cell phones. Nope, you have to send it through snail mail. Pretty Hope it much. got there. Oh, well, be thankful you weren't, uh, it's it's not a cause of death in uh, Tombstone, Arizona during the uh, Wild West era. True. Your body was put on display, and then they had to see if anyone knew your body. Yep. Oh, God. Do, 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 do. Oh, no oh, Pink Floyd. Oh, well. Well, I've, I've, <laughs> I have a couple more. Yay. Hey, that's swaying. I think it's back and Yes, forth. it is swaying. Oh, okay. What was that? Oh, what? my God. Ah. What the? Whoa! What the fudge what is, that? is that? Dun da dun 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 dun. What the fudge was that? Uh, that was a reference to the Evil Dead musical. Yep. If anyone knew. Mm -hmm. it. Uh, Nurse Foster has complained that orderly William Farish. Okay. Disappeared for hours at a time doing shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and the knees of his pants are as dirty, dirty, okay, as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he just seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farsh, and I thought the matter should be escalated to you. Percy. Fascinating. Fascinating. Percy. Oh god, that ambient sounds so creepy. I mean, this is not the best horror game I've seen, but this one's up. Uh, Graffiti. Uh, well, really, really good Diamond and Ralph. I mean, yes, there's yep. things that could probably have been done better with it, but probably. for an indie horror, this is it's not me. bad. For an indie horror, this is pretty impressive. Yep. Push. God, those creaky doors. Yep. Candles. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Uh, did you notice my mm -hmm. screen on the cell phone kind of did got disoriented? It, yeah, I, I mean, distorted. Not disoriented. Yep. I don't think devices can get distorted. Yep. I mean, uh, disoriented. Yeah. I'm confusing my words now. Oh, well. Huh. We are in a bathroom. Yep. And we know all crazy kinds of crap happens in the bathroom. Yep. Like talking fetus babies. No, no, no. Don't don't bring up the poor PT talking fetus. <laughs> Konami never gave it a chance. Aww. <laughs> I never thought I would make that joke. Oh god. <laughs> I feel actually bad making that joke. Yep. <laughs> yeah, anyone offended by that joke? I uh, I am sorry. Oops. I don't always think of the words that come out of my mouth. Yeah. That does. But it happens in the, all in the sake of humor. Yep. Oh, for a second I, I thought that was... A cabinet. Oh, final glow stick. Yay! Yay. More glow sticks. sticks. Those... When I actually think you see things cover up like that, that acts actually cre uh, creepier than uh, things being left like that. Yep. I, I don't know why. It's maybe that weird mm -hmm. hot house effect where everything's covered yep. and abandoned. Ooh, a door. Secret door, secret door, secret door, secret door. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's look at our screen. Look at our glitchy, glitchy iPhone. Yeah, I think we might be near something with an interference. Mm -hmm. All right, we're that's it. We're near the end of time. And we're so okay. this is Major Goner and Penguin Chris. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope we uh, hope you enjoy our hello glitch play here. Um, 
Well, until 